Iran is testing the limits of its new weapons and of American patience in Syria. A series of weekend drone and missile attacks against U.S. anti-terror bases in Syria, but Iranian-backed militias left a contractor injured. Retaliation for a Thursday night airstrike against Iranian bases in Syria that reportedly killed 19. That itself a retaliation for a drone strike against a U.S. base that killed one and injured six more. And Iran says they will not stop. Any pretext to attack bases created at the request of the Syrian government to deal with terrorism and Islamic State elements in this country will be met with an immediate counter-response. The violence comes as Tehran deals with instability on the home front and seeks to position itself as a regional power to strike political deals with other states. I would expect more, not less from this, because there's an ultra-hardline cabal now in Tehran that believes when they're weak at home, they need to show strength abroad. The timing is a critical junction. Iran just resumed relations with Saudi Arabia, courtesy of a Beijing-brokered deal, while Russia is spearheading a process to mend ties between Syria and the Saudis. Well, it's quite concerning because a lot of the states that in the short to medium term had an interest in moving closer into the Abraham Accords and helping to create a region-wide coalition uh, against the, the rising threat posed by the Islamic Republic of Iran appear to be uh, at least now flirting with opening up diplomatic relations with Iran's sole state ally in the heartland of the Middle East. The strikes represent the most direct action between Washington and Tehran to date, a conflict the United States has attempted to manage with diplomacy and sanctions. Though the Biden administration warned over the weekend, it will not shy away from military action. The United States does not, does not emphasize, seek conflict with Iran, but be prepared for us to act forcefully, protect our people. But the exchange signals that the United States is no longer the sole power player in the Middle East. And Iran has used the firefight as both a message to Washington and a field test of its new weapons against U.S. defenses.